Good day, today we're playing a little bit of XCOM 2 live, as opposed to last time I played XCOM 2 on the channel, it was all post-commentary. This time around, 2K and Phyrexis were uh, generous enough to send me a preview code of XCOM 2 to my house, uh, where I can enjoy the first few months of the game in the comfort of my own home. Now, there's a couple of things to keep in mind uh, while we do this live campaign. Uh, one of them is... Um, we won't be showing any cutscenes, we don't want to spoil the story, uh, is, uh, is the thing to do, so if you feel like, man, it's really weird there's no cutscenes in XCOM 2, I'm just cutting them out of the game, don't worry, I'm cutting the scenes, they're not going to be in the game. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is, uh, a lot has been said about how, uh, moddable XCOM 2 is, uh, and that's no joke, it is very moddable, it's so easy a chimp like me can do it, I've actually, uh, for this particular live run, tweaked the alien numbers and health a bit, so there's a few more enemies uh, on the map and in each pod, and there's also more health and armor on those enemies and stats than normal, because I thought, why not make a hard game even harder, you know? Let's uh, let's vary things up for the live series. Compared to the other campaign, I'm also running the postcom one I'm, I'm going to be releasing at the same time. Let's change them up a bit. Uh, so, yeah, there's a little bit of modding going on there, uh, and no cutscenes. Apart from that, let's get into XCOM 2. into the city center to strike a big target. Something that will shake up the tranquil little utopia Advent has been building all these years. Secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts. Firebrand will be in the area for your extraction. All right, we're going in for Operation Gatecrasher in the security block in Beijing. It's pretty simple. Four rookies go in, uh, hopefully a giant statue blows up, and then hopefully four rookies go out. Not much more to say than that. Drop lights are hit, so let's hit the ground. Fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Who we got? We got Shotzi Drake. L and I fans will know. We got <laughs> seriously. We got John Jones, the Aussie. We got Conrad Weiss, and we got Neil Rice. Are you serious? Weiss and Rice, Weiss, Weiss and Rice. John Jones and Shotzi Drake. This is an amazing squad already. Okay, so welcome to XCOM 2. First thing you need to know is concealment is very, very important. I'm assuming we don't activate on this move. We're going to talk about how to use it. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Let's get down there, John Jones. Rowling. Uh, yep. Got another patrol. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay, so we got two patrols right off the bat. Let's put Neil Rice Closing on target position now. and Drake on the side. Heading out. So on the right, we have four Advent troopers, uh, each with an extra point of health than they normally would have. What can I say? I like pain. On the left, we have a sectoid of a little bit more health and another advent trooper bodyguarding him. Now, these guys are tough and there's an extra one of them than they should be too, so we want to use absolute caution in what we do here. Uh, especially because we only have four rookies, we really don't have a lot of options if things go wrong, so we need things to go right. To accomplish that, let me just move uh, John Jones up here uh, to, what do you say, this position? Moving to designated coordinates. Good on you, John Jones. We're going to try and pull a nice little ambush on these guys. Moving. Now, Weiss, Rice, and Shotzi are going to overwatch from high ground. That's going to give them a high ground advantage uh, on the overwatch. Uh, also, when these guys move into us, the idea is that we'll be taking concealed overwatch shots against them as well. That'll be at closer range because we're sneaking up on them. We know it's reliable because we can see them coming because we're stealthed right now. We, we can recon them without being spotted. And finally... Uh, concealment overwatch shots happen at a higher accuracy than normal overwatch shots. Normally there's a penalty of about, uh, normally most of your shots happen at 75% of their accuracy. Scanning. In concealment, it's 100% accurate. But these guys are lucky, they're gonna move away. They're not gonna see John Jones, and so my trap will not be sprung just yet. Overwatch in XCOM 2, uh, works as normal unless you're in concealment, in which case it only fires if you are revealed. And in this case, we haven't been revealed yet, of course. Let's use waypoints to make sure we don't accidentally tr uh, diagonally hit that node there. Moving. John Jones coming around. Moving to Overwatch. 
Moving to position. Moving to designated position. And we're ready. Roger. I got my eyes on lunch. So John Jones is our trigger man. We want them to see him, reveal us, and give us a concealment overwatch trap during their turn. And here we go. Don't move. I'm totally not about to die. Okay, you're about to die. Maybe. Nope, your friend is. <laughs> Rip your friend. Alright, and just like that, Advent are thrown into a nasty little ambush on the streets they police. And that works for me. I don't like Advent very much. Now, if we come around here, we've got a flank on one of them, no problem. No, we don't, actually. See, in Enemy Unknown, this would be a flank. Uh, but now, I think this heavy cover blocks. So, it'll actually be taken from this tile instead. Uh, meanwhile, you can see from the line of sight indicator, the crosshair next to his he health bar, that if we move to the right, we won't be able to see him. There's no crosshair, no vision. So, we actually can't get a flank on that guy. I'll tell you what we can get, though, is Weiss. You want to handle this? Okay. Hop down. Somewhere in the city. You want to give us a little bit of an alley-oop here? Can you? No, you can't alley-oop it. Come on, man. Give us the alley-oop. Okay, Rice might have to handle this then. You can get a little bit higher, but that, you don't need to. Come over here to the left. Understood. Moving out. Weiss can't do it, so Rice, you got to do it. Hit that guy for 68%. No, you're going to totally miss. That's all right. Shot wide. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Shotzi's going to handle it instead. Shotzi, do you see him right now? Yeah, you got eyes. Take him out. Guys. Guys. Not good. Guys, not good. Okay, so that's not working out for us. Uh, what else can we do here, considering that's totally failing? So what we're going to do here is we're going to throw a grenade to make sure this guy doesn't hurt anybody else. And then we're going to try and overwatch to stop this guy from flanking Weiss. It's alright, he's running away, don't worry about it. Oh, and you killed him anyway. It's down. Playing a little bit too fast there. So that grenade actually took out that cover even though it didn't said it wasn't going to. So that's pretty good. Anyway, next up, we're going to take a reload with Shotzi. Reload's a single action now. You can reload and you can shoot. It's killing time! Then I think we can take a height advantage bonus on this guy. Nice shooting. Good ambush. Good riddance. All right, that's one patrol down. Now, like I said, I have uh, a good supply of patience. Good copy. Moving on target. And like I said, on this mission, you really can't afford things to go wrong. So move. I know that sector patrol is going to come back. I saw him come along here. And just like any good stealth game, XCOM 2's patrols actually follow patrol paths now. They don't, they're not really haphazard like they used to be. To so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for that sector to come back. And I'm going to wait down. for as long as it takes. It. My patience is inexhaustible. Alright, so about 10 turns of waiting later, I'm getting the impression that these sectoids uh, are a little bit smarter than the average bear. So, we do know they patrolled here before, but I think now that we've gunned down one of their buddies, they're probably just sitting, like, right here going, Holy crap! Did you see what happened? What did that? that Some kind of car accident. So instead, we're going to start moving up to find them. Moving on target location. Moving on target location. Roger that. Now, in most missions, you can't really afford to sit around waiting this long either. Most of XCOM's two missions have a big time limit, of course, or a small time limit, I should say. Oh, but here we go. <laughs> here he comes. I was wrong. He's coming after all. Look at him tiptoe in. Do do do. Oh my god. He is not particularly happy about us shooting him. That's all right. I, I'm not particularly happy about him. Taking shots. Miss, miss, miss. One more shot. Get that streaker. Get that naked man. Good damage. Well done. Alright, that's pretty good. Now, this guy over here, in the half cover, he's an easy mark for some height advantage shots. Reload with your single action. Take a shot with your second action. Well done. If we've got a grenade, we can confirm that. Yeah, so Jones can make sure that guy dies. So if we hold on to Jones's shot, 
we can pretty much guarantee he dies. Now, Weiss is going to go high to try and pick this guy off. If we can't pick him off of everyone else, we'll use the grenade. Otherwise, it saves us a nade. Bad shooting. Enemy is still up. Let's get Shotzi on the job. Roger that. All right, the grenade it is then. Has the. It had to be this way. Let's Go, Jones. And let's just let's just make him not live anymore. Let's just remove him from the advent gene pool. There you go. Now you notice I was quite happy to leave the sectoid alive. Sectoids are very dangerous enemies, very powerful psionics. But without a support elements to help them, um, they're pretty easily picked off. By taking out the trooper who's going to shoot us with bullets, we save our soldiers this turn. And then we know this, the sector is going to do something psychic on his first turn, most likely. Something like raise a zombie, or, you know, panic one of our troops. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. And that's fine, because we can leave him until the next turn. He's not going to shoot anybody. We can reload. And we reload. can shoot his butt. That's a zombie. I'm playing too fast. I saw the, uh... I saw the uh, alien head and I was like, that's a sectoid. No, that's a zombie. Zombies count as, uh, zombies count as aliens. Okay. Rolling. Don't worry, Jones has got it. 46. We could have definitely used some more 46s, like, you know, Enemy is still up. like uh, Rice's one, but what are you going to do about it, right? Okay, let's get rid of that zombie. I mean, get rid of that Position confirmed. sectoid. I know you've got it, Drake. There you go. And just like that, height bonus is really powerful, and XCOM 2's maps have a lot of height bonuses. There's a lot of two-story buildings, a lot of three-story buildings, a lot of uh, really good positions to attack from. That height bonus really helps. And it means you don't have to move forward the flank, which is good because the more we move forward, the more likely we are to activate another patrol. In this case, though, I think we're clear. Orders confirmed on the move. Orders confirmed on the move. Heading out. Okay. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Now, worst case, if we have to, we can fall back to this building to defend, but hopefully that won't be necessary. I'm on it. Let's rock. First things first, I'm greedy, so I'm gonna go grab that loot. Okay. Always gotta get the loot. John Jones, you look like such a nerd. We got an Illyrium core, nice. I've got it. Okay, next up, there is one more patrol out there that I know of, and that is the officer. I've played this mission a few times. It's uh, generally pretty formulaic in how many enemies you can expect on the first mission. Which is nice, because it lets you plan around it with your four rookies. And I'm expecting, we've taken out four troopers, we've taken out a sectoid and another trooper. So I'm expecting uh, a captain and his little cronies, or her little cronies. Orders confirmed, on the move. We're going to stay together. Okay. We're going to move real confirmed. slow, and we're going to try and overwatch trap him ourselves. Scanning. Overwatch, come get him. What was that sound? Okay, now they're behind the monument. Oh, here they come. Right around the corner. Pick them off. Almost. You're a little bit high. Maybe that's why you missed. You're a little bit high. Okay, here comes the rest. officers seem more capable than the We're not sure whether they it up to training mind control. They're much more capable. That's why she runs away. Because she knows dying happens at the front line, man. Okay, we didn't pick any of them off in the initial ambush. That's no good, but I've got an ambush. Uh, I mean, I've got a flank right here if I want it. And I mean, of course I want it. So we're going to move around. We're going to hit this guy in his butt. Nice. Very good damage. Very, very good. Okay, we can grenade this one. Who's got a grenade left? You've all got a grenade left. Excellent job. I love the uh, enthusiasm. It'd be nice if you could move to a position where you wouldn't uh, get shot by the officer afterwards, though. 
Is that going to be a flank on the officer? No, the heavy cover's blocking, so that won't be a flank. Can you grenade him from here? You can. Okay. Tell you what. Let's put John Jones in this position. No, no. Let's put Shotzi in this position. Do you reckon she can grenade from there? No, okay. John Jones, like I was saying, go here. Hit it there now. Hit it there now. No flank because the heavy cover is blocking. Not even a good angle, unfortunately. But we'll hold the line. Rice is going to be my grenadier. Now, I don't want to sit here and get shot by the captain. But there aren't really a lot of good options other than that. So we're just going to have to sit in heavy cover. Move into position. And grenade. Heads down. Hopefully the heavy cover will keep us safe. It didn't keep that guy safe, but... <laughs> you know. Now, I think this is the last pod to deal with, so we're going to run Drake over to the side. Roger that. Start flanking. Meanwhile, John Jones is going to sit here and he's going to overwatch. Come get some. Advance. Oh god, they're marking. John Jones, I didn't mean it. You're not a turbo nerd. Stay alive, John Jones. Whoa. Mark target is what makes the officer so strong. Think of it like hollow targeting on steroids. It's very powerful. Uh, very, very powerful indeed. But for right now, we're okay. We gotta keep down, though. These guys are gonna get us sooner or later. If I move to the side, I might just be able to get a grenade on, but I might not, too. We can take advantage of the fact that they've marked John Jones, though, perhaps. Let's see here. I'm gonna start moving Conrad around to the side, I think. Position confirmed. Neil Rice is gonna hold, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hunker down John Jones. They may still shoot him because they're, you know, like Bradford says, their obedience makes them predictable. The trooper might still shoot the marked target. Meanwhile, Scanning. we're going to keep him pinned. Keep him pinned. Moving to Overwatch. And I'd expect one of these guys to try to charge my butt. I think that's what's going to happen. I'm on it. Let's see. Officer's getting to slightly better cover. Here comes the charge. The troopers are very fearless, but that also makes them easy to overwatch trap. Target neutralized. Sometimes it's a good thing, they call your overwatch bluff, they run it, and then they blow you up. Sometimes it's a bad thing, like what just happened to that guy. Let's move out to the side of Drake. The commander, you'll notice, didn't run the overwatch because the commander isn't an idiot. Here, <laughs> We're gonna send a grenade over. Do a little bit of damage. Ooh, are you on fire? I hope you're on fire. You might be on fire. That would be excellent, if so. We're going to keep moving in. John Jones can, let's see, move to this position. Actually, move to here, John Jones. The Overwatch is removed because damage removes Overwatch now, which is a really handy little uh, little thing. Heading there now. Let's get Weiss around the side, I think. Now, I don't have a good angle on you. We're just chilling. But we're gonna overwatch. And keep you pinned. The mark's gone. After a couple of turns. And we're gonna see what this advent does. They're not on fire, but they should have they should have moved because their cover was. And that is when we wave goodbye to Advent Officer number one. And that is not good. That is when we wave goodbye to Advent Officer number one. And Negative damage. that is when we wave goodbye to Advent Officer number one. And Miss the target. that is when we wave goodbye there there now. to Advent Officer number... Oh my god. You are the luckiest Advent Officer I've ever met. Holy crap. You are so lucky! Tactical genius, they knew that would happen. Okay, screw you. I'm going to kill you though. For real. Holy crap. You are so lucky. We got, we got a good angle on this side though. 48%. This is a new thing of heavy cover. When you have a uh, almost flank 
on heavy cover, you're like a tile or two away from a flank. You get a bonus called good angle that boosts up the closer you are to that flank, boosts all the way up to 20% when you're imminent for that flank. So in this case, uh, we're basically making that advent captain's heavy cover into half cover. And we're gonna take a shot. Well, I mean, if you don't hit the 60s, why would you hit the 40s? Adjusting sights. No, that's, that's, that's fine. Okay, 38, hike. There you go. There you go. Overwatch is gone. Weiss is moving in for the flank. Get him, Weiss. That's affirmative. I think the game flows much nicer with Overwatch being removed on damage. Let's you actually get shit done. 72% hike. And then we wave goodbye to Advent Officer number one. You guys were doing really well until this officer came along. And then you all just screwed the pooch. I don't even understand. You all just started screwing up. Move to this position and overwatch. Got it Holy crap. Here we go. And now we wave goodbye to my sanity. He's moving in. Holy crap. Good. Yeah, screw you. It goes both ways. Kill that goddamn captain. Yeah, screw you too. Oh, you're out of ammo. You've got to be kidding me. And you know why? It's because I was cocky. It's because I could have been reloading before my shots before, but I didn't bother. I was like, it's, it's, it's flanked by four people. It's dead. Always reload before you take a shot. You never know when you're going to need that ammo. Please, God. And now we say goodbye to Advent Officer number one. Thank you. Kill confirmed. Thank you so much. Area is secure. <laughs> We're not picking up any Jesus inbound contacts. Christ. Scanners are clear. Minus one five. We have a limited window to act before. <laughs> oh my launch. God! Get us out of here. Charges planted on the double. You know what? That's XCOM. I couldn't ask for a better first Minus mission. Minus one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Nobody's wounded. Everyone's alive. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charges. And that was the best officer I've ever met. But that's that, as they say. That, as they say, is that. Holy crap. <laughs> oh yeah, successful successful shot percentage, 38%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone looks real pleased with themselves. But hey, everybody got their own little medal. That's good. Good for you guys. We're not going to talk about the captain. You guys did great until the captain. We're not going to talk about the captain. Let's just go home. We needed that captain on our team, man. That officer should be working for XCOM. That's a one-man army. That girl could dodge. There's no way the aliens were expecting a fight like that. I'm impressed, Commander. Okay. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Drake's ready to repeat her assaulting ways from L and I. I'm sure, that'll go well for her. And she becomes our ranger with slash with the sword. What do we want next? Let's get Weiss. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Weiss is our grenadier. He's ready to blow things up at a moment's notice, which is all the time with me. All right, next up is Rice or Jones. Let's do Rice next. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. I knew as soon as I saw you, you were a sharpshooter. And that just leaves Jones for our specialist. Nerd. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. That's very fitting. I think everyone got the class they deserved. He becomes our drone specialist. And that's the squad. We got an Illyrium core for loot, but a whole bunch of corpses in the freezer. Things went pretty well. Alright, over in the science bay. Uh, hybrid materials, get better armor, alien biotech, squishy alien research, more modular weapons, shoot things better. 
Uh, hybrid materials and modular weapons lead to better developments afterwards for new armor and weapons, but it takes a long time to get those done. So it's really what you want first here. I want modular weapons so I can mount upgrades as soon as I find them. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. Alright, so in engineering, first thing we're going to do is build a structure. Now, uh, to excavate extra rooms doesn't just cost money, in fact it doesn't cost money at all anymore, but it does cost time and engineers. We need an engineer to get the excavations done. Uh, but you're actually rewarded with supplies and materials. Uh, the deeper you go, the better the rewards get, but the longer it takes. But we can't do that till we get an engineer. So first, we're just going to build a structure. Now, these structures are being built much quicker than they should be. Uh, I didn't just mod the enemies to be stronger uh, and tougher. I also modded down the time it takes to build things because, like I said before, this preview code of XCOM 2 graciously provided, uh, unfortunately only lasts for the first three months of the campaign. So on, him, on Legendary, by default, it takes twice as long to build anything anyway. So I slashed building prices, uh, sorry not building prices, building time by about 75% so that we could actually see the buildings before the campaign ends, uh, before the preview ends that is. Uh, so normally this would take a lot longer to build. Uh, but for us, it's going to be seven days. Gorilla Tactics School construction initiated. I also cut the excavation time for the same reasons. Right, now. On the Geoscape, things are much more of a board game than they used to be. You used to just sit at home and be a board game. Be, be bored of the game. Be a board. It actually wasn't boring. I'm just trying to make a pun. The point is, you'd sit here in XCOM Asia, you'd sit in your base, and you'd wait for missions to come. But now it's a board game. Now you fly your mobile base, the Avenger, around the map, and you do stuff. Uh, which is really cool. Now at the start here, we haven't got anything to do yet, so we're just going to scan our HQ. Um, scanning at your resistance HQ is something you can always do. It gives you the boost that is currently listed underneath resistance HQ. Right now, that's to gain us intel. Intel is a resource used to link yourself to other regions uh, and buy certain things. Um, as you go through the campaign, you can get different bonuses, but we'll talk about that later. There's your intel right there. There it is again. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. And as you can see, you, it leads into magnetic weapons after you complete modular weapons, but it's going to take way too long. We need to get some scientists before we can really do that. So the next thing we're going to do is alien biotech. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Scan, scan, scan. And we got an all. Operation Shackled Rage. That sounds like me, like, every day when my 60% miss on people with no cover. I hate that captain so much. Uh, we have to destroy an alien relay. The difficulty is supposed to be easy, and we'll get Dr. Huang Xin, an engineer, for completing it. The target site is in the New Arctic, so let's get on it. Alright, we got a full team to lead this one out, which is uh, definitely very nice. Weiss and Shotzi are very mad. Uh, rookies get a randomly generated um, attitude. Uh, these two are very mad. They're hard luck. They're very angry. We're going to have to fix that later on. Uh, I'm going to build some items. Going to get a flashbang. Going to get a medkit. Flashbang's going to go on my ranger. Going to put the medkit on Squatty Jones. Now let's customize him up a little bit, shall we? We're going to the new Arctic, so... I hear white camo is in. Unfortunately, I can't... They're not sergeant. Uh, a lot of the cosmetic options are limited until you get to sergeant rank. So squatty, corporal, rookie, uh, you've got limited options. Otherwise, I'd give them some nice tundra camo. But as it is, well, I mean, we can put tundra camo or uh, something like that on the weapons anyway. What else do we want to give you guys? Let's give you my favorite torso, torso 3. You are so happy. Look at you. Gonna rug you up for how cold it is out there. Gonna give you a nice... Well, you can have one of them rolled up, I guess. Um, give you some nice thermal pants. I don't know. Let's give you a... Oh no, keep your nerd glasses on. Let's give you a beanie. It's gonna be cold where we're going, man. You gotta rug up. God, you are such a nerd. You want a bandana, nerd? Nah, we'll, we'll leave the bandana off. But we will change the secondary armor pattern. Make him nice and blending in with the snow. And then we'll do that for everyone else. Alright, squad's looking nice and color-coordinated. 
I suppose that's all there is to it. Let's get out there, let's do this mission. It better be snowy. to their network. The loss of that data will stop their latest project in its tracks. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. We're expecting a strong contingent of security forces. Neutralize them and secure the site. Destroy that relay at all costs. I don't know, man. It doesn't look very, very white down there. This is actually in a city. No one told me it was in a city. <laughs> Come back next time when we're all wearing bright white camo for Operation Shackled Rage inside the slum district Shakwe in Beijing. Uh, until then, have a good one.